Well, he's been in there a couple of days now, hasn't he? Rishi Sunak. And uh, he's finding out all of the ins and outs of the job. What he's got to do and what he's supposed to say. And there's one thing that's evidently clear. People are still getting a bit pissed off with the whole thing going on in Dover. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing alright, I'm not too bad, we're uh, nearly at the end of the week now aren't we, I hope everyone's alright, I, I have to apologise for my absence the last couple of days, uh, some uh, stuff going on in the background of a personal nature pulled me away from YouTube, and sometimes you have to prioritise and deal with those other things don't you, anyway welcome to uh, everybody that's subscribed to the channel over the last week or two, good to see you. And uh, hello to all my existing supporters, uh, thank you to you as well. And please make sure you hit the like button on this uh, this video and uh, share the content if you think it would be of interest to other people. Well, yes, Rishi Sunak's walked into the job, hasn't he? And I suppose you could call that a honeymoon period. Well, unfortunately, I think that honeymoon period will come crashing down around his ears very quickly. One of the ongoing uh, issues that we have is, of course, what's going on in Dover with the channel migrants coming across, landing at Dover, and being sent who knows where. Now, one interesting article that I read earlier today is that uh, Tories are demanding that it's sorted out because it's becoming a bit of a farce, and it's emerged that the government is spending nearly £7 million a day on uh, hotel bills and just about everything else and uh, something like 28 and a half thousand asylum claims uh, were put in last year so you can just see the levels of uh, trouble brewing and uh, trouble ongoing and you know my opinion of it it needs stopping at source now the other thing that I was sent as well that disturbed me greatly they're obviously running out of room in the hotels and uh, what they're now doing is going after landlords and homeowners and offering them contracts to house these people. Now that is uh, absolutely insane. That just shows to me that we're bulging at the seams. We are bulging at the seams. And I was sent some videos earlier by a subscriber of ours as well uh, who detailed trouble going on at Manston, the processing centre up there, and I'll bring you a live stream on that in the next couple of days, and uh, we can look at all that new information together. Anyway, if you've got any comments on this or know anything else, please leave it in the comments below, and I'll see you soon with another one. Toodaloo!